Welcome to MKT 363E Services Marketing. In this video, we will be discussing the GAPS model. By the end of the video, you will be able to 1. Draw the GAPS model 2. Describe what the GAPS are and 3. Prescribe how these GAPS can be closed. The GAPS model is one that allows us to identify and correct service quality problems. There are a total of six types of gaps that can occur at different points during the design and delivery of a service performance. Let's look at each of these gaps in more detail. Gap 1, the knowledge gap. The knowledge gap is the difference between what senior management believes customers expect and what customers actually need and expect. Gap 2, policy gap. The policy gap is the difference between management's understanding of customers' expectations and the service standards they set for service delivery. We call it the policy gap because the management has to make a policy not to deliver what they think customers expect. And reasons for setting such standards below customer expectations are typically cost and feasibility considerations. Gap 3. The delivery gap. The delivery gap is the difference between service standards and the service delivery team's actual performance on these standards. Gap 4. The communications gap. The communications gap is the difference between what the company communicates and what the customer understands and subsequently experiences. Next, gap 5. Perceptions gap. The perceptions gap is the difference between what is actually delivered and what customers feel they have received because they are unable to accurately judge service quality accurately. Gap 6. The service quality gap. The service quality gap is the difference between what customers expect to receive and the perception of the service that is actually received. The service quality gap is the most important of all. Hence, the main goal is to improve service quality and close this gap as much as possible. In order to achieve this, organizations need to work on closing the other five gaps before the service quality gaps can be closed. So, how can we close the gaps? First, for the knowledge gap, educate management about what customers expect. One way is to increase interactions between customers and management. For example, management can go and work at the front line to find out what customer want and expect. To educate management, there can also be communication between frontline employees and management. Also, there should be an effective customer feedback system so that management can access the information that's found. And lastly, do research to find out what customers expect. Next, the policy gap. To close it, the suggestion is to establish the right service processes and specify the standards. First, get the customer service processes right. Use a rigorous, systematic and customer-centric process for designing and redesigning customer service processes. Where possible, standardize repetitive work to ensure consistency and reliability. Next, a company could tier the customers so that different tiers of customers are given different levels of service at different prices. And, and last, it's important to set, communicate and reinforce measurable customer-oriented service standards for all work units. Employees have to understand and accept the goals standards and priority. Gap 3, the delivery gap. Ensure that performance meets standards that are based on customer needs and expectations. First, we need to ensure that customer service teams are motivated and able to meet these service standards. This requires the help of HR to recruit, train and clarify employee roles. It's also important to empower managers and employees so that decision making can be made by the frontline staff or those in the field. Lastly, a firm should measure performance, provide regular feedback 
and reward customer service team performance as well as individual employees and managers for attaining quality goals. To ensure that performance meets standards, we also need to install the right technology, equipment, support processes and capacity. Lastly, manage customers' uh, service quality expectations by educating them to perform their roles and responsibilities in the service delivery as well. Next, the communications gap. Ensure that communications promises are realistic and correctly understood by customers. We need, firms need to educate managers responsible for sales and marketing communications about operational capabilities. They need to seek inputs from frontline employees and operational personnel when new communications programs are being developed. They also need to let uh, to have a preview of advertisements and other communications before customers are exposed to them. Get sales staff to involve operation staff in face-to-face -face meeting with customers. In order to close the communications gap, companies also need to align incentives for sales team with those of service delivery teams. This will avoid the problem where the sales team focus exclusively on generating sales and over-promising and therefore neglecting customer satisfaction. It is also important to ensure that communications content set realistic customer expectations. Identify and explain in real time the reasons for shortcomings in service performance if it's lower than communications. It's also important to document beforehand what tasks and performance guarantees are included in an agreement or contract. After the completion of the work, explain what work was performed in relation to a specific billing statement. Lastly, the perceptions gap. Tangibilize and communicate the service quality delivered. Make, develop service environments or physical evidence cues that are consistent with the levels of service provided. It's also for complex and credence services, keep customers informed during service delivery on what is being done and give debriefings after the delivery so that customers can appreciate the quality of service they receive. It's also important to provide tangible physical evidence. For example, car service workshops can show the parts that have been removed and changed. Last, the service quality gap. It is important to close gaps 1 to 5 to consistently meet customer expectations. In this video, we have discussed the gaps model and how to close the gaps. This brings us to the end of the videos for this course. Thank you very much for listening.